So we took the bare grass, do that circle, and you can pull a couple of those little strands to get the different heights. All right, so we're gonna take that con and we're gonna do it really short because I want it to really stick in close to the oasis. Now note this, if you have a knuckle, this I little, do. Okay, <laughs> if that's in your way, put above it. We're gonna try to come just above it. We're gonna put it right next to it. And in, and in floral design, a lot of times, even when you're planting your, floral, your flower gardens, you'll do mass plantings where you do three or four pansies at one time and then you cluster them. Well, the same in florals because it gives you impact. Mm -hmm. All roses come with a guard petal. Some of them look really bent and bruised or brown or um, a different color. Uh, those we just pluck off and we love them. I'm gonna probably cut it to here. Uh, here in the center. So, and this one's gonna pretty much go straight up. So on the butterfly ranunculus, uh, we want it um, a bit. Oh. Um, longer than what it, you want it to land because you need at least half inch to three quarters of an inch to go into your oasis. Once again, like we entered the bare grass on the side, we're going to enter this one on the side because I want a little of this drape. So now this, my stem is very weak, so like the one you just brought up, but we would not waste it. So what I'm going to do is it's going to look real droopy right now, but I'm going to prop it up by putting something under it. So. I keep it like bud. Yeah, we love we love working all of it in. Uh, sometimes when they have really cool flat foliage, we'll clip it and just put the foliage back in. I actually have a couple of extra um, spray roses on mine, so I'm going to move them around to the back side. Clip it here and stick it in, or you would you separate the two? We do that a lot. We're trying to get length. Like you say, I. If they're the same height, it's pretty to put them together.